There we go. Oh. Dale <laughs> Walker. Fish on. <laughs> Probably a white bass, maybe. Figured I'd start this video with uh, some action. Got a lot of white bass in the area. You got six pound line, and I'm using shiners. Ooh, that's a nice one. That is a big white bass. I'd say that's a respectable fish right there. If this wasn't Watts Bar, I would keep this to eat. It would make good bait too, but I don't plan on catfishing like this evening or anything. And then I got the week ahead of me with my day job. But hey, good start to the morning. And, uh, the guys on the front of my boat are also catching fish. I got Clint and one of his buddies with me. And uh, let's see what he has. Yep, another wow. white bass. Oh, that's a smallmouth? Yeah, don't mess around, dude. I catch oh, wow. <laughs> that's cool. Nice smallmouth. Doubled up here. Uh, can you do that for me, please, uh, Captain? <laughs> I got Clint controlling the trolling motor, so he's the captain today. This is not bad at all. Here's the smallmouth. Oh, you want? There you go. Beautiful fish. That's a beautiful one. I love catching smallmouth. Red eyes, nice golden color. I don't know if it's uh, showing up too well because we are early, early in the morning. You want to release it or you want me to? Okay. Yeah, nice. Nice smallmouth. Cool. Good start to the morning. I'll show you what I'm using. So I got these small one knot tournament hooks and a uh, little shiner. <laughs> I just hook it from the jaw up through the nose like that and just throw it out there free line. We usually catch a bunch of drum this way. I call this my uh, like mixed bag trip. And most of the time we're catching drum. But today, as you saw, white bass galore. Maybe we'll catch a drum. That'd be cool if we catch a drum. I'll show that to you too. A lot of people consider drum trash fish. I think they're fun to catch. And uh, <laughs> just like that. Well, I'll talk to you guys, get a fish on. And this is a white bass. Well, yeah, this is basically what my uh, mixed bag trips are. When, whenever people want to do like striped bass with me, I talk them into these mixed bag trips because I really don't like watching a balloon for hours and catching like two fish. We will catch more fish today than what I show on camera. And this guy swallowed it. He was so hungry. I do go through some hooks too. I might be able to get that out. It's right on the back of the top of the head or whatever. It's just kind of deep. And that's what long pliers are for. If it gets gut hooked or too deep, then I just leave it in. Alright. There you go. White bass. Nope. <laughs> These are lively. I have my Ingle cooler that I use to keep the shiners alive. Engel did send it to me, and that's because I bought an Engel cooler a while back, and they uh, saw that I had bought one, so they sent me their updated one with a rechargeable aerator. And I really do like the rechargeable aerator. I have not charged it before I started using it, and it still had, like, full battery on it. And I haven't used it in a couple of weeks. 
whenever I do use it, I just have a USB cable hooked up to it. Ready for fishing. <laughs> well, I was hoping to get another one. But yeah, good times. Let's see if we can get maybe a large mouth and a couple other species in the boat. Got a fish? What do we got? Another white bass. Or, uh, all over that bank. Look at all over there. Oh, all over there. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. They are blown up. Just got another white bass. <laughs> Clint taking a picture of it. Very nice. I do want to mention something. I'm surprised there's no striper guides here. Usually in a morning like this, you have like one or two striper guides and then four other boats on top of them. And it's just a complete mess. It's like bumper boats. I stay away from them. I'm usually either way over there or way over here or way over there. I try to stay away from them. And it's kind of funny because my last trip, it was a birthday trip for uh, this woman's son, and she came on board with her son, and she was mainly like watching the other boats and kind of making fun of them. He, she kept saying, man, they're not catching anything, and we're catching fish like crazy. We caught like, I don't know, 10, maybe 15 drum, and it was like fish after fish. And every time we caught fish, the guides were moving a little bit further away, a little bit further away, a little bit further away, because she was loud. And she was having the time of her life catching drum. And that's just, that's the way striper fishing is. You have a balloon out, and you watch it for four hours, and maybe catch two or three fish. Some days you can catch, you know, 10 fish, but most of the time it's less than five. A lot of times you don't catch anything. They don't tell you that, the striper guides, and uh, a lot of them like to, you know, talk all the time. They just try to be as entertaining as possible because, you know, it's kind of boring to watch a balloon all day. And there is one striper guide right here now, and they're pulling planer boards. So they're pulling probably gizzards behind planer boards. But, yeah, I like catching fish. And I try to, you know, get people on fish. So that's why I call this a multi, multi, oh, I've already forgot what I call it, but you know, it's a multi fish thing. Mostly drum, although we haven't caught any drum yet today. Uh, you probably also notice I've got these trolling rigs behind me. When we run out of shiners, we'll start trolling and catch fish that way too. Multiple techniques. But hopefully we're we'll get another fish here. We have uh, the only the only problem with this is there are bank fishermen here, so we have to start leaving or staying away from the bank. Uh, it is a very narrow channel, and you know when you get like 10, 20 boats here, which happens a lot because of the stripers, it's just madness. And I don't like it when there's that many boats. I'd rather you know have it like it is right now when there's one or two boats. And you see, that guy is able to cast about 100 yards with a popper trying for stripers. Uh, Let's we'll see if we can uh, catch something here. I can't even cast to him, but there's white bass busting everywhere here. I don't even know if my shiner's still alive. Yep, still alive. Yeah. Oh, they're jumping behind the boat. Yep. <laughs> White bass. Whoa, I just had a hit. I missed it. Let's see, is he still alive? Thanks, sir. Yeah, barely. Wiggling enough to maybe get something. Yeah, 
And as you can see right now, there is a weight sometimes. Sometimes you got to chase them down, throw it to where they're boiling, and uh, either miss the fish or not catch anything. Typical fishing. But I do get a lot more fish in the boat, as you guys have already seen. We've actually caught more than what I've shown on camera because it's a lot of fish. Yeah. Big old drum. <laughs> well, that don't be around. finally got a drum in the boat. That is a good drum that our special guest caught. A nice one. That's a toad. Yeah. That makes three types of fish today. Doing good. Yeah, the sun is just about to breach the hill and everything's shut down already. No jumping fish. That's why I like to get here early as possible, catch a bunch of fish, and then when things shut down, maybe go trolling down river or something. But we're gonna still continue to stay here throwing shiners. We might go into the lock to see if we can get a perch. Uh, Stay tuned, hopefully we'll get another fish in the boat before I have to take him back to the ramp, our mystery guest. Oh, there we go, fish on. <laughs> what we got here? Another white bass. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Well, I thought they were shut down. Oh, the hook popped. Well, that's what I get for paying attention to them catching a white bass. <laughs> Another one. These are nice. You use a and here I am talking about the bite just shut off and they're still oh, they're still going a little bit. Good piece of bait right here. I've actually had clients and myself catch stripers on this rod and reel. These are uh, the old uh, Kuma Seamars. You can still buy the reels, you can't buy these rods. And this was, they came in a combo. It's just, uh, what is this? Uh, medium action, six foot rod. I've had them for years and they're fun to use. I think they make, they make like a, a Seamar like offshore, but I don't think they make them this small. I'd have to look it up. <laughs> Jumping right behind us. There we go. Oh, I got lucky. There we go. Another good one. I know I said we normally catch drum like crazy, but today is a white bass day. Which, hey, I'll take these any day. They're fun to catch, just like drum and everything else. <laughs> sitting here. Woo -woo. Let me hit the button. Make sure I'm recording for you guys. Sitting here chilling. Yeah, this might be a drum. the bigger fish today on this rod and reel. Oh yeah. 
Now that was a fun fight. That's a good one. Nice drum, six pound line. You know, if this was a red drum or a black drum, man, people would be lining up to book trips. But I still think they're worth fishing for. And everybody who's booked trips with me that have caught these drum, they have had an incredible time. And yeah, this video is kind of more related to my guide service. I still, you know, it's fish. Gotta love catching fish. There he goes. Cool. Still catching fish ah, while everything is uh, shut down. Well, at least it seems like everything's shut down now. There's nothing going on. At least like a, you know, this morning there was a lot of action, but now there's nothing. Still a good day to be on the water. Fish. Ugh. Right off the, the wall. Exactly. It's fighting weird. I don't know if that's a drum. Oh yeah. Those drums? Yeah, drums. Now that is a respectable fish. Nice. Cool. Now we're going to turn around here and troll our way back out. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to admit that I was a little bit lazy on recording and we did a couple of rounds of trolling and caught some nice drum. Things have slowed down quite a bit. Uh, I might have to find other places to fish maybe in the future if uh, I want to do, you know, a mixed bag trip like this. I don't know. I'll just have to see. You know, white bass are fun to catch too. And, you know, as you saw earlier, they were going nuts early this morning. So it was, it's been a fun day. But uh, it's time for me to take our mystery guest back to the boat ramp. Now leave a comment below if you have any questions about my gear or techniques that I'm using here. I think I went over most everything, but I might have missed a thing or two. This is definitely not catfishing, but hey, we caught fish. That would have been a, either a really good fish fry or really good bait to catch catfish with. Now, as always, I want to thank you for taking your time out of your day to actually watch my video. I really, really appreciate it. Now, if you would do me an enormous favor, since this is not a catfishing video, hit that thumbs up to show you like the video. That will help Google, you know, push this video because whenever I fish for things that are not catfish, I usually don't get any views. Also, if you're not subscribed, Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. At this moment in time, I am getting close to 17,000 subscribers. And when I hit that point, I'm probably going to do a giveaway. I try not to use giveaways as a way to get people to my channel, but I do do them every now and then, usually at, you know, the points like 16, 17, 18,000 subscribers every thousand subscribers at least until the algorithm picks up my channel and makes it go crazy like the other channels that i'm friends with now i'm going to take our mystery guest back to the boat ramp so he can meet his granddaughter and take her fishing thanks again for watching i hope to see you next time